Hello everybody, it's Red Samurai 13. I'm getting ready to begin the Bowl Field Adventure Map. Now, this map, adventure map is by a priest Bob on the Minecraft forums. There will be a link below for it. I would just like to say um, I'm not going to be doing the abandoned land of the Torrens. Unfortunately, it was a, a ROM hack hardcore parkour map. And while I like to say I'm good at parkour, there's no way in hell that I would ever be able to complete that map. So I'm going to go ahead and skip it. The next two highest voted maps were Tunnels Through Time and, of course, Bullfield. Unfortunately, uh, one of my Minecraft friends had just done Tunnels Through Time, so I don't want to play with it and know everything right off back so fresh in my head. Unfortunately, uh, I can't say I'm unfamiliar with Bullfield as well because I did try to go through the series. Unfortunately, uh, before I even got halfway through with level 1, I wound up with over 30 episodes and trying to space these out once per week, that would be impossible to do. So, what I'm going to be doing is, with this bowl field, the reason it's so many episodes is was because there's so much exploring, there was so much inventory management, and then an ungodly amount of reading. Uh, there was signs to be read, there was external pictures, notepad things to be read. So, what I will be doing is, whenever I come to one of these events that need to be read, I'll just give the gist of what needs to happen. And this way I can go, A, you know, I need to go here, do this, and we can go from there. Now, Bullfield is an RPG adventure, so it can be quite long. I, from what I saw when I was playing, there's supposed to be three levels. Whether they're all three complete, um, we'll find out. Uh, as well, guys, this will be a 30-minute time thing. And I will be taking votes for the next map. The maps that I'm, I'm sorry, to be voted on are below in the description. So if you want, feel free to vote on whichever map you'd like to see next. And at the end of the series, I'll go ahead and get those tallied up. And we can get out and see what that map will be played next. Okay, guys, let's get started here. Uh, one of the first things I noticed is that it is an event, uh, creative mode, so we get a. Or, actually, no, no, it's not. Okay. Alright, um, this is pretty much just a tutorial, blah, blah, blah. And uh, something it says to do is adjust to the gray. I went ahead and set the full bright because last time in Chrono Tide, I thought it was good and it turned out it was absolutely horrible. So guys, I'm going to go ahead and start the timer now and we'll get started on this. So this again is just a small tutorial, oh crap. Uh, yeah, let's take care of this real quick yeah I'm supposed to have the texture pack so <laughs> everything looks like this rather than how it did look alright let's see take the money pretty much the quest it gives is break the block put the block in take the money so we're not bothering with that I will take the book and quill just in case Oh yeah, keep going through the guide. Um, pretty much, guys, these little things right here are NPCs. The red exclamation mark will be for a quest-driven storyline to progress through the game. The yellow will be for side quests, just for extra things. So, yeah. Alright. Of course, uh, there's going to be a barter system in here, as it will be an RPG. One uh, iron ingots are one dollar, gold ingots are five, diamonds are ten. So, put this in here, get the torches. 
Why? Because I can buy four candles for one dollar. Each chest, if I can buy from it, it will say what I can buy and how much. Or there's also selling, so something else to keep in mind. So, Alright, I'm going to go ahead and get on out of here. Uh, we'll probably progress through the town area pretty fast at first. Because, like I said, I have done the town area before. Oh yeah, and if I need torches, I can break them from anywhere. That was one of the rules. But otherwise, I'm not to break anything unless told that it's possible to break. So, let's grab my money. Brick. A sword. Some torches. Uh, this map is two player. So I'm not going to be grabbing the stuff out here. Although I could, but meh. Alright, note one. Okay, what note one says is pretty much your parents are kicking you out. They don't think you're manly enough to be here. So they want you to go down to the fish shack and start your adventure there. So I'm going to do a quick side quest though. Take the pitchfork, clear out the hay, and he'll give me two dollars. So shovel. Clear out all the hay here. Alright. There's that, and I got the money. Alright, as you can see, the world is quite nice with this map, and they've done some nice designs. So, things will show up. Um, there are spawners through here, so I have to be kind of careful. Let's see, uh, this ain't a mushroom biome. So, yeah, I definitely have to be careful until I get a pickaxe to break them. Alrighty, let's see here. Uh, feathers from the building, so I need to get the top building. Okay, and this guy needs his fishing rod, so. Fortunately, he just wants the fishing rod, so I'll take the raw fish. And he can have the fishing rod. <laughs> um for every brick four dollars so there's four uh, birch trees so that's another quest we'll have to go out in the forest and do okay the picnic that one's an easy one we just gotta go out here and um, not mistaken, there was a guy wanting red mushroom out here. Yeah, so I can break the red mushroom as well. So, mushroom. So, I, I just want to tell you guys, I know I'm going a little fast on this, and I'll openly admit that, but last time, to get to the point that I'm at, it was 4 episode 10. So, yeah. <laughs> Let's see. 16. There we go. The torch and the cake. So, I got the picnic. Let's go return the mushrooms to this guy. Let's see. 5. Yeah, so 15. I got 2 extra. Whoops. Do well. So there's that. Let's see, okay, I did get everything out of there. I got his picnic. So let's take the brick to the person. Get more money. Now money it it comes and goes. At times, it's really, really plentiful, it's useful. Other times, you can't find it if you try. So, 
All right, clear out the wheat in the back. I'll just bust this by hand. Uh, pretty much what he wants is for me to clear out this uh, wheat. Once I clear out the wheat, I can use his wheat farm anytime I want. Now, I guess I should actually say the, uh, oh, excuse me, the hay is what I need to clear out. So, boom. And since he ain't got a chest, I'm just going to throw it down. I don't need it, and I ain't supposed to be placing blocks unless told to anyway. Now, of course, one of the great things about RPGs, if anybody's ever played a old-time RPG anyway, um, a lot of new ones don't do it anymore. Most you can't really find the guard RPG in most days anymore. But in RPGs, you could take items from people's houses, and there's no repercussions about that. So let's see, torches, armor, sword. So I've got my backup sword now. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and throw this extra uh, signs in here. Let's see. Earnings. <laughs> There's that. There's the bedroom. I've got my pickaxe so I can actually start. Oh, excuse me. Start breaking down those mob spawners. Get them out of the way. Uh, as I was saying. Uh, it says here specifically, I cannot steal from this chest. So as much as I would love to, that's off limits. So let's get back up here and see what he sells. Uh oh, zombies. It's night time. Okay, I guess fishing shop. And then we go to see what he sells. <laughs> Um, three dollars. All right. So it'll cost three dollars. I paid three. All right. To become a hero, you must complete all three levels. All right. As I said, you know, there's three levels that shows whether they're done or not. I don't know. To get to the first one, go to the tourism office. And first off, go to the magic shop and get trained. All right. So, I need to go. If I want to use any type of buckets, uh, they're called lava wands, fire wands, um, water wands, and there was a couple other ones. I have to go through the magic course or else I'm not supposed to use them. So, in other words, I need to go th through that. And let's see, I don't need the egg, the seeds, the hat I can quit. I'll cook the food, book and quill I don't need right now. Alright, so I need to get the magic and I need to go to the first level. And I need to get the feathers. So, we're going to rob uh, poor Max here. Yeah, I get out. He doesn't like strangers. <laughs> oh well. So we got another brick. Uh, what's sold here? So they buy two dollars per fish. Uh, two dollars for a sword. Five for a cake. Three for cooked fish. Four for a rod. Six for boots and trousers. All right, I'll take that. One, actually, one, two, three, four, five, six. Now, full armor. Okay. Let's see. Damn, coal. Huh. It says there's cooked fish, but I don't see any in the box. 
Yeah. Oh well. So I need to cut down birch trees, get the sorry, get the feathers off the roof. Uh, Johnny's is taken care of. Let's see what's sold here. Wooden tools, torches, book. Checkpoint bed, chest, and grilled pork. Well, I'm not going to bother with the checkpoint bed. I can place them at any point I want, but I've not really seen much of a need for them. I didn't really die a lot whenever I come here the first time, so I'm just going to kind of ignore it for now. But I will take the book because it is for a quest at a later point. So there's that. Uh, pork chop six for th three. Uh, I'll hold off on that. All right. So we're gonna get trained now. All right. The fire wand, as it's showing is a flint and steel. So, of course, fire wand, flint and steel. Hey. <laughs> water wand, bucket of water. So I can swim up. And the interesting thing is I can't place water except where these little signs are. So if I see a sign with water on it, I can place water there. Otherwise, it I ain't supposed to do it. So, we've got that. Let's see, water. Uh oh. <laughs> water. Fire. Yeah, technically, I could probably keep these and go on. But at the same time, you know, I don't want to cheat and do that. So, let's see. Uh, water one, 32. Uh, I got, well, I got enough, but not enough for what I want. So, I know I'm going to need the water wands. Uh, there was quite a few places for them. And, <laughs> I am not paying eighty dollars. I'm sorry. That's not happening though. Anyway, there's quite a few places for the the water in the first level, so I definitely need to get one. Um, I managed to somehow lose the one I had back whenever I started. So yeah. Unfortunately, I didn't get to see what was in those, so I guess it'll be a surprise for both of us. So I got some coal, seven fish. Um, this lady's little side quest is pretty much telling me there is a tin piece out there somewhere, a diamond. Ah, the dwarven book. One gold into six. I think that's a fair trade. Paper, books, eh. I didn't bother with it then, I'm not going to bother with it now. Yeah, it says something about a library ghost, but I'm not sure if that's just, you know, for what you call it, for atmosphere, or if there's actually something to that. Eight, eight, let's see here. I gotta get out here and kill me some spawners. As well as I need to get some birch trees, don't I? So let's keep an eye out for them. The spawners, and for the love of God, creepers. Since some reason or another, it doesn't seem to disable creepers here. And they kind of like to spawn everywhere when you don't want them to. Okay, so here's the tree house. Alrighty. 
Yeah, I know you didn't hear me knock because there's no door. And of course, cake, which I will take some. <laughs> Uh, there is a chest over here, which I can get to it from here, but I need to go out, not do that. <laughs> I need to go up in the trees anyway, because out here in the trees there's a way up to top that building. And now if I can just remember how to get there is the thing. another one. I think there's still two more spawners out here though. Um. Mm. Okay and that down there is a mystical magic lady. Uh, she wants a hundred gold to use an enchanting table. Now, I'm no rocket scientist, but I kind of find that a little expensive. Especially since she has no chest, and, you know, technically you could just use it anyway. So, yeah, let's see here though. Alright, we're almost to the building. Then we'll have to go back out there and chop the birch. Feathers. I don't need the eggs for anything. And he just wants the feathers, so... Sharpness. You can have that. Now let's find the birch trees, and we'll get that taken care of. Ah, the creeper, what I say? Everywhere you don't want them. Spider. So now somewhere out here there's birch trees. Uh, there's quite a few areas you can get them at. I just gotta be careful while I'm doing this. back and get the birch trees whenever the sun is rose. Uh, After all, there's no point in getting out here and getting killed trying to mine a few birch trees down. any out here but I'll look and check now uh, well 
And I can drop off the brick at least. One, two, three, so one, two, three. And back to birch hunting. Something you'll probably notice out here, like I did the first time, there's passages to different little areas, like right here. Bullfield, go down the path. But, you know, it's not open. So I'm assuming there are checkpoints where you open up and come back and forth between villages. I'm not, like I said, I'm not sure on that, but I'm assuming that's what it is. Um, <laughs> All right, let's quickly kill the birch. Two birch trees down. I need a couple of more. I'm sorry if it is a little laggy. Uh, my computer's been giving me some more problems here in the past few days. I'm still not sure what's going on. I think it may be another hard drive, just unfortunately a younger one. I'll, so something I am working on though. Uh, big birch tree. So we got four. Uh, okay, that went to oak, so yeah, that's cut. There's four now. We got one more to find. I know this, there's. Oh, excuse me, I know there's another one around here somewhere. Because I cut down five the first time I went through this. Yeah, there's one. Okay. And there's the five birch trees. So guys, what took almost 12 episodes to get done with all the fancy reading has now taken roughly 30 minutes. So there's that. Um, I guess what I'm going to do is stock up on a bit of food before I get ready to make my journey out. As far as I'm concerned, he can have this extra crap. See that? That's another thing. Uh, crafting benches are strictly off limits unless there's something stating otherwise as it says here you can craft only wheat here so I can make bread yeah I already found that um, let's see alright I can't buy anything there so let's get my water wand I definitely want that. That's how much? 32 for a water wand. So, now I have a way of getting to those inaccessible areas I had before. Um, I don't think there's anything else here that I need or want. 
Nah, the lava wand, I'm sure, will be nice. But I will need to use it later. So, let's see. I get food. Six. So one. Two, three. Pork chop for six. We'll get a bit of coal from this guy over here. One, two, three, five, coal. Let's see, it was two, right? Yeah, one dollar. Oh, so I can get two sets. I'll just go ahead and make it a full thing. Um, there's nothing else there besides cake. So cake is five. Yeah, I'll get one. It might be nice to have a little bit of extra food. So, uh, looks like we're set for the most part. Let's get up here, cook our food, and prepare for the night. Uh, so this is something else that last time I didn't really do well, is inventory management. I uh, put back only what it said to put back. I kept everything else just in case. And by the time I got down to the first level, I was so overloaded with items, I couldn't keep it all. And then, both thankfully and unthankfully, I fell to my death. Which, uh, if all goes well, that won't happen again during this one. I'll show you where and uh, how it happened. So, <laughs> it's very interesting to say the least. So, let's see. The fish needs to get cooked, and then we can start on our way. So, guys, i am actually been thinking while I've been putting this here. I may try to put out a video twice a week on this. Because still, I'm uh, not sure how long Bowfield will take. And for all I know, you know, I could wind up with 40 videos even trying to fast forward it. So I'm thinking of trying to put out two videos a week. So if you guys are ex looking forward to videos, you know, you have something to look forward to at least. So let's go ahead and get this. Um, I'll have to come back though, so probably shouldn't do that. <laughs> Right, we're ready to go to the first level, and actually, I believe our time's almost up as well. Uh, let's see. Well, yeah, we got one minute, so. All right, we're stuck. Uh, your objective's not revealed, but it'll become clear. This map's about exploring, so look around. Each level has a story linked into it. Uh, if you want to immerse yourself in the story, it's okay, but it's optional. And there are chapters to the level to divide in sections. And I need to switch to the worker seat pack, so it's a good thing we got it done. Alright guys, this has been the first, level, uh, first episode of Bullfield. I hope you guys have enjoyed, and everybody have a good night.